So hi guys, it's been so long since I did a video. I'm a terrible person, um, I've just been way too busy. But you might be happy to know that for January I've decided that I'm going to give myself two vlog minimum, which means I have to post two vlogs every month, uh, which should cover me for a TBR and a final, here's what I thought of all these books, uh, video. But I can do more if I want, but just because I know I'm forgetful and lazy, two, you will at least get two. Okay, so <coughs> for today's video, the first thing I'm going to do and get out of the way is Christmas. For possibly the first time in my life, I did not ask for books for Christmas. It felt so wrong, but I didn't because last year I bought myself so, so many books and I haven't read like even half of them that was very good and I stopped myself from asking for books to finish the books that I already have and then I'm just gonna go mental on my birthday and ask for everything <laughs> um, but I did get three non-fiction books for Christmas which is what I'm going to show you first so the first is uh, 1339 QI facts to make your jaw drop I love QI um, I love Stephen Fry generally, but um, QI is probably one of my favourite things to watch on the telly. So this was a great buy. This was a great gift for Christmas because I can just pick it up and read a few pages and fill my mind with interesting knowledge that nobody really needs to know. But it comes in handy sometimes and I can just whip it out in conversation. Yeah, so that was a good buy. Second, we have Hook, Yarn and Crochet by Ross Badger. Can I crochet? No. Will I learn to crochet? Damn fucking right. Um, <laughs> it's basically just full of like really really cool things to make. Um, different crafty projects with crochet. But the good thing about this book is, and I find this very hard to find in most other books, is that it goes all the way back to basic techniques. It tells you how to cast it on, it tells you how to cast it off, it tells you what all these different words mean. And that's really hard to find in a craft book these days. So we'll see what I manage to make from this. And lastly, I've been really super into my knitting recently. I'm like an old grandma. I just sit at home and read and knit by the fire in my nice wooden jumpers. Um, but this book is beautiful. This is Woodland Knit by Stephanie Dawson. Uh, to start with, I just have to say the photography in it is incredible. Um, some of the best I've ever seen in a craft book. Um, this book is a little bit harder to understand. Firstly, I think because it's American. Um, but I'm going to try wrap my head around it. I'm making a moonbeam duster. That is the first thing I'm going to make from Woodland Knits. I bought up some of my already completed scarves just so you could see this one with the fringe with the fringe that was thanks to that book i had no idea i had to make fringe before but now i do nice nice green going on there and then this this was the first thing i ever made and this is one big fat ass comfy scarf you just wrap it around and it's got all the beautiful colors and everything like that so I just thought I'd show you that. Um, <laughs> but the main reason I'm doing this video is my January TBR, which is very small, I will warn you, because I have two photography projects that I'm hoping to get finished in January, or at least get the bulk of them done. Um, for those of you interested, I'm hoping to be filming the process of that as well, now I've got a bit of a better camera, um, to see how so you can see how I work and how much fun it is to do a shoot with me. Um, um, and I've also got a lot of crafty projects that I need to get finished as well. So January's to be art is very small. Saying that, however, I have started my pile with a mammoth book, but I'm halfway through it. But that doesn't really mean a lot because it's fucking huge. I'm back. I'm back to it, guys. Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings. I'm doing it again. I will do it in January. I will read it in January. 
I will read it in January. I probably am not going to finish it in January, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. According to Goodreads, I am now officially over halfway. You have no idea how long it's taken me to get to this point, but officially now I'm over halfway, and this has given me a boost to finish it. I don't know what made me pick this back up again. Um, maybe it was getting the, the box sets for Christmas or something, but um, I am actually really enjoying it, and I've picked it back up again. Um, really getting into everyone's storyline again. Just really enjoying it. So yeah, that is book number one. Book number two is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabosky. The typical cover you see everywhere on Tumblr. Um, not on purpose, just this is the one that came. Um, I've just, just started this just to get an impression of what the book was like. Um, I'll be honest with you, I am absolutely 100% hating the writing style. Um, I cannot stand books written as if they're written by a child. Um, I understand the necessary reasons for it in literature, so I really don't need a lecture on that, but I just can't stand it. I'm, I'm an educated adult, I do not need to be reading. And then I went to the park and all that shit. But I'm hoping as he gets older, which I'm assuming he does throughout the book, um, the writing style gets better. If it does, I'll probably chuck what I just said out of the window because then it, I, it's been used correctly. But um, yeah, so I wanted to read more contemporary. Um, this is a nice, quick, little contemporary book um, that I thought I'd start now and I'd maybe do a bigger one next year. Next year, next month. Not next year, next month. Thirdly, we have Changeless by Gail Carriger. Um, I read, oh, what's it called? Etiquette and Espionage. I read that first. That was the first Gail Carriger thing I've ever read and I loved it. Um, and then I picked up this series, well, my friend is lending me this series. So I've read the first one, which is Soulless. I've got Changeless now, which I'm about to read. And then she's also lent me Blameless so I can continue on a little bit. I've had them for a while but I'm now <laughs> going to pick them up. Um, I do love the characters in this, especially the male characters. Um, it reads quite a bit like Cheryl and Kenyon, only with more supernatural. But, um, you yeah, know, all the characters are great. I love Victorian London. Stephen Punk's like pretty cool, pretty cool I guess. Um, werewolves, vampires, supernatural but not in a cheesy teenage way for once, in a very adult way and I love it. So for anyone looking for that adult, adult vampire werewolf supernatural stories, go for something like this, something adult. It's really cool. Um, yeah, so this is my third book to be read in January. And finally, my fourth book. I've heard so much about this book, so, so much. I bought it and now I have to read it. Um, <laughs> I think the biggest thing that made me want to read it was someone told me that it was similar, as in it's an original story, but it reminded them of Dora Spoken Bomb by Lady Taylor. And those have become like my favorite books this year. It, well, 2013 when I read them, they have like topped that list incredibly. Um, so if this even comes close to that, I will be very, very impressed. Um, I think it's set in Russia. I do this every time, I should do my research beforehand. I think it's set in Russia. Um, it's by Les Badogos, or however you say that, which sounds a bit French. But oh well, I don't know. And I know the second one of these is out as well, so when I finish it I can just whip on and get the uh, get the next one or borrow it from a library or something. Um, <coughs> I am not probably going to be having book calls very much this year, which makes me traumatically sad, but we are saving. We are saving for a mortgage, so I have to be good. I have to be very good and not buy any books. I've already bought a book saying that. I have ordered um, A Taste of Darkness by Maria V. Snyder to finish off the Avery Healer novels um, trilogy set. I think it's only a trilogy, but I don't know. Um, because I needed that in my life. I need to find out what happened to Carrick or I might die. Um, I've been waiting so long so long for that book. Um, yes, yeah, so I've ordered that one. And then while I was looking for that, I also found that she did 
she's done a new book and sneakily bought it out and I haven't noticed. I think it's a standalone as well, which is just incredible, um, called Stormwatcher. So I'm probably going to have to get that one as well. But in the middle of the year, we're going to treat each other, me and my partner. So I'll probably have a book call around then for you. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you at the end of January to tell you what I thought of all these books, or if I failed or succeeded at reading them all. Um, and I'm also thinking of in January, hopefully, if I can get space in the middle, I'm going to do my top 13 books of 2013 for you all, just in case you wanted some recommendations of what I thought was really good last year. So yeah, everyone, I hope you all had a happy new year, and happy Christmas, obviously. It's over, and that's really sad. I love Christmas. Um, and all the decorations are down. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm just rambling now because I'm really tired. I will see you all next time. Read lots of books.